It is Saturday, August 29th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. And today we're going to do something just a little bit different. After we cover the water level at the Three Gorges Dam, I was hoping to cover the geography of the Yangtze River Basin all the way from the Tibetan Mountains to the Three Gorges region. I've wanted to do this segment all week because I realize that not everyone is familiar with China's geography, but news just keeps developing. I also have some new information that I will include in tomorrow's update. Let's hop into it. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 163.19 meters. That's down from yesterday's 163.81 meters. The current outflow is listed at 34,000 cubic meters per second. That's up from yesterday's 33,800 cubic meters per second. The current inflow is listed at 24,500 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And this was written by Charles E. Greer, a professor of geography and of East Asian languages and cultures at Indiana University. The Yangtze River is the longest river in both China and Asia and the third longest river in the world with a length of 3,915 miles or 6,300 kilometers. Its basin, extending for some 2,000 miles, that's 3,200 kilometers from west to east, and for more than 600 miles, that's 1,000 kilometers from north to south, drains an area of 698,265 square miles, or 1,808,500 square kilometers. From its source on the plateau of Tibet to its mouth on the East China Sea, the river traverses or serves as the border between 10 provinces or regions. On its left bank, from source to mouth, these are the Yalung, Min, Jialing, and Han rivers. Those on the right bank include the Wu, Yuan, Shang, and Gan rivers. The name Yangtze, derived from the name of the ancient fiefdom of Yang, has been applied to the river mainly by those in the west. Changjiang, or Long River, is the name used in China, although it is also called Dejiang, or Great River, or simply Zhang, River. The upper course of the Yangtze flows across the plateau of Tibet and descends through deep valleys in the mountains east of the plateau emerging onto the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau. The summers there are warm and the winters are cold. The source of the Yangtze is the Olan Moron River, which originates in glacial meltwaters on the slopes of the Tangula Mountains in southern Qinghai Province on the border with the Tibet Autonomous Region. From the confluence of this stream, with several others, the river flows generally easterly through a shallow, spacious valley, the bottom of which is studded with lakes and reservoirs. This part of its course lies in the higher regions of the Tibetan Highlands. The river's character changes sharply upon reaching the eastern limits of the highlands. There, the river, which in this stretch is called the Jensha, descends from a high elevation, winding its way south of the Bayanher Mountains and forming a narrow valley up to two miles in depth. Individual mountain peaks exceed elevations of 16,000 feet, that's 4,900 meters above sea level, and are crowned with glaciers and perpetual snow. The steep rocky slopes are cut with gorges and deep valleys. For several hundred miles, the Yangtze flows in a southeasterly direction, before turning south to flow downward in rushing rapids. For a considerable distance, the river flows through passes that are so steep that no room is left even for a narrow path. Villages, which are rarely found, are located high above the river. 
In this region, the Yangtze runs close and parallel to both the Mekong and Salween rivers. All three rivers are within 15 to 30 miles, that's 25 to 50 kilometers of one another, and continue to flow in mutual proximity for a distance of more than 250 miles, that's 400 kilometers. North of latitude 26 degrees north, these great rivers diverge, and the Yangtze turns east to pass through a winding valley with steep slopes. The river receives the waters of many tributaries, among which the Yalong River is the largest and contributes the most water. The Yangtze then widens to between 1,000 and 1,300 feet, that's 3 to 400 meters, reaching depths often exceeding 30 feet, that's 9 meters. In narrower gorges, the water width decreases by almost half but the depth increases sharply. Near the end of the upstream part of its course, the Yangtze descends to an elevation of 1,000 feet above sea level. In the mountains, however, there is a substantial stretch where the fall of the river is considerably greater. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. The middle course of the Yangtze stretches for about 630 miles or 1,010 kilometers between the cities of Yibin in Sichuan province and Yichang in Hubei province. The climate is characterized by hot summers and relatively mild winters as the high mountains to the west protect the region from the cold north and west winds. Annual precipitation measures between 40 and 60 inches, that's 1,000 to 1,500 millimeters, a large part of it occurring in the summer. The growing season lasts for more than six months. In most of this segment, the river crosses hilly Sichuan province, where the lower mountains and plateaus connect the highlands of southwestern China with the Qin Mountains lying between the Yangtze and Yellow River basins. Located in this area is Chongqing, a major industrial center and river port. The river's width there is from about 1,000 to 1,600 feet, or 300 to 500 meters and the depth in places exceeds 30 feet. The current is swift. The banks often are high and steep. The river falls some 820 feet, that's 250 meters in Sichuan, more than a foot per mile or 0.2 meters per kilometer of flow. As the Yangtze flows through eastern Sichuan and into western Hubei, it traverses for a distance of 125 miles or 200 kilometers, the famous Three Gorges region, before debauching onto the plains to the east. The gorges have steep, sheer slopes, composed mainly of thick limestone rocks. Prior to the completion of the Three Gorges Dam in 2006, they rose some 1,300 to 2,000 feet, that's 400 to 600 meters above the river. Although with the creation of the reservoir behind the dam, their height has been diminished fairly significantly. Nonetheless, they still present the appearance of fantastic towers, pillars, or spears. Katang, the first gorge, about 5 miles or 8 kilometers long, is the shortest. Prior to its inundation, the river there was considered the most dangerous for navigation, being extremely narrow with many rapids and eddies. Wu, the second gorge, stretches for about 30 miles or 50 kilometers. It is a narrow, steep corridor with almost vertical walls of heights up to 1,600 or even 2,000 feet above the river. The last gorge, Xiling, is located upstream of Yichang and extends for a distance of 21 miles. In places, limestone cliffs rise directly out of the water, although with the rise of the reservoir to much lower heights than before. 
The gorges are rocky and the walls are speckled with cracks and indentions. Even before the river was inundated, its depth in the gorges was considerable, increasing to between 500 and 600 feet, that's 150 to 180 meters, and giving the Yangtze the greatest depths of any river in the world. And hopefully, in the very near future, we have time to cover the lower Yangtze Basin, and I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.